Hey guys, what's going on? This is Ryan Fenners. Welcome back to the Fentertainment Channel. On today's episode, we're going to be doing a glitter mailbox. A, gl a, a glitter mailbox? We're doing more than cups in 2017? All right, we're doing more than cups in 2017. Y'all stay tuned. All right, guys, in order to get started, we're gonna actually be using the mailbox that we squirrel dip. If you haven't seen that video, I'll list it in the top right of your screen right now. So in order to get started, we're actually going to be removing the clips for the thumb pull on the front of the door and the top of the mailbox. Also remove the flag. Here I'm just showing you how the flag goes back together. Flag goes in the mount, pin goes through the mount and flag, and then the clip goes on the back of it. Very simple. Next we took a heat gun, and the heat gun is actually to make the decal adhesion less sticky, so we can pull it off the mailbox a lot easier. Decal that we we're using was actually Oracle 651. It's actually a permanent exterior decal and it's worked great since I've had the mailbox world. We took the mailbox outside and we're using Krylon paint. We're using Rust-Oleum glitter, an amazing two-part epoxy clear resin. Now I gave the mailbox two coats of burgundy paint. I did not sand before I did this. It actually sticks real well. And I did not want to get rid of the old effect that we had on the mailbox. I thought it would give it character. Once the Krylon paint is dried, we took the Rust-Oleum glitter and we sprayed it over it. And we did not spray it in any kind of equal patterns like when we sprayed the Krylon. We misted it on to the left, to the right, top, the bottom. Next, we brought the mailbox indoors. We mixed up some resin and applied it to the mailbox. This is what's gonna make your glitter pop. I usually use a foam brush, but this time I opted for a bristle brush. But when you're doing this, make sure you, no bristles get left behind in epoxy because they will show and it's very hard to remove them. If you aren't familiar with the two-part epoxy resin, I did a video and I'll definitely put it at the top right of your screen right here. It goes in depth on this. Next, we went ahead and let the mailbox dry overnight. And I'm just using my Cricut uh, Explorer 1 machine. I'm using the painter's font from DeFont. And I went ahead and ungrouped my letters, uh, moved everything the way I wanted to, regrouped it, and then welded it back in place. You can see the Cricut machine is getting it. Don't we all wish they went this fast? Guys, 24 hours have passed and the two-part epoxy resin is fully cured. So it's time we go ahead and put the sticker on the side of the mailbox. We only put on the right-hand side because we live kind of like in a cul-de-sac area in our neighborhood. We went ahead and painted the flag just red. We did not epoxy them. And when you're leaving the epoxy to dry, open the door so the door won't be stuck shut. Now, go ahead and replace the mailbox back on the stand. Everything I've used in this video, you can find in the description below. Over here to the top right, you can subscribe, and I've listed some more videos that you may like. If there's a video project you would like to see, please list it down in the comments below. I would love to check it out, and maybe we can feature it on the Fentertainment channel. I appreciate y'all watching. Y'all have a good one.